The push for speed cameras on Hawaii's roads is still on the fast track at the state legislature, but the locations of where they may be installed has changed. Christy Tomashiro follows up. Vehicle sensors, cameras, and devices to capture photos and videos of the license plate of speeding cars. A Senate bill would create the state's automated speed enforcement program, but the original plan to put speed cameras on highways is being scaled back. According to the version of the bill that's still alive, speed cameras would be placed at the 10 existing sites of where red light cameras already are. Let's take this existing technology. Uh, all you really need to do is just flip a switch. Uh, I'm not sure people realize, but speeds are already being monitored through, through those red light camera intersections, um, but they're just not um, enforcing that speeding regulation. Similar to the red light cameras, the measure says the state's third party contractor would mail registered owners of vehicles the citations. The Hawaii Department of Transportation would oversee the program. We would definitely want to make sure it's as fair as possible to the public, so we would keep in the 60 day educational period. Um, and the 30 days um, warning period before any citations occur. According to the DOT, 35% of traffic fatalities are caused by speeding. Law enforcement agencies are in support of the bill to increase safety on the roads. Higher speeds can equate to um, less reactionary time as well as higher propensity for property damage and injuries. The bill is also drawing opposition. Some community members are concerned about drivers breaking suddenly to avoid a citation that may cause crashes. I get what everybody's concerned about in, in their testimonies, um, but for us, for the DOT and for our law enforcement partners, curbing that speed is going to be a priority to ensure that we can save more lives. If passed, the bill would take effect on January 1st of next year. The speed cameras bill moves on to the House Finance Committee next. Christy Tomashiro, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.